Hello and welcome to this new video from Clarity Media in which we're going to look at how to solve a puzzle called a number hexagon. Now a number hexagon is a puzzle like this in a hexagonal shape, lots of hexagons um, and there's just one rule really which is that the numbers in each hexagon must add up to 25 and you can use the numbers from 1 to 9 and a number cannot repeat within a hexagon. Um, so you can see each hexagon is simply the six triangles that surround each of these grey dots. So this is a hexagon for instance. Here's another one down here. So anywhere you see a grey dot, the six triangles that touch it together make a hexagon shape. So if you sort of see these thick lines being drawn in here, that's an example of one of a hexagons in the grid and we're told that the numbers inside each of these hexagons sum up to 25 and we can use 1 to 9 only and cannot repeat a digit. Okay so how would you go about solving one of these puzzles? Well since we know that the numbers must sum to 25 then we can ask how many ways are there to have six digits between 1 and 9 that sum to 25 without repeating a digit and we can write down those options. So we have one, two, three, four, six, nine. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, eight, and one two four five six seven so those are the ways of uh, reaching a total of 25 off the six digits you might want to write them down and use them for reference okay so bearing that in mind let's solve the puzzle so the best place to start similar to sudoku is to look for very constrained areas um, in a number hexagon that means basically a hexagon that's got lots of starting digits so the eye is drawn instantly to this hexagon over here well, we have five of the six numbers okay so we can write in the final digit there so um let's see so five plus four plus one that's ten that's 19 so we need six here because six four seven two five one sum together to 25. okay so let's move on to this hexagon here which shares the five and the two with the one that we just looked at so we have 10 18 so we need seven um, in these two squares. So um, we can have one and six, two and four, or three and three. That's oh, sorry, three and four. Well, we can't have three and four because we already have a three. And we can't have a two and five because we already have the two and five. So these must be the one and six. So you can use pencil marks in a similar way to Sudoku. So we'll put one six, one six in there like that in the grid. Uh, hopefully the pencil markings come across okay on the video screen. Um, but can we do any better than that? Well, let's have a look at this hexagon here. So if this were a six, and we have eight plus six is fourteen plus seven is twenty one, and then we'd have these three squares that must sum to four, which isn't possible because 1 plus 2 plus 3 sum to 6 um, because that's the smallest way obviously um, so therefore we know that can't be the 6 so that has to be in fact be the 1 and therefore this over here is 6 so now let's look at this hexagon we have 8 plus 6 plus 5 that's 19 so these must sum to 6 well, as we've just said there's only one way to get 6 from 3 digits without repeating number and that's to 1, 2 and 3 so this can be 1 or 3, it can't be a 2. This can be 1 and 3, it can't be a 2. And therefore the 2 must go up there. And so now we can complete this hexagon. We have 8 plus 2, 10, 17, 21. So that's a 4. Up there. Okay. And this can't be a 3 because... That's the three there, so we take the three out of there. So 
So now we have um, this left hand side of the puzzle complete. So now let's have a look at this one here. So we have 8, 2, that's 14. So these sum to um, 11. So we can't have 9, 2, 8, 3. So it's 7 and 4 or 6 and 5 at the moment. Okay, I won't write them in because of the two options. Um, let's continue looking. Let's look at this one. We have 15, 18. So these sum to 7. Sum into 7 has to be 1, 2, and 4. Um, so this can't be 1 or 2 because these two um, triangles take the 1 and 2. So that must be the 4. Uh, so you can see how you use the overlap between different um, hexagons to really help you solve this. So we have 1, 2 and 1, 2. Okay. Uh, let's have a look here. We have 11 plus 3, that's 14. So we have um, 11 there. Okay, so let's move on. Um, let's have a look down here. So we have 10, 14. We have 11 off 3. Um, okay, let's just have another look around. Um, so here we have 11 of 13, and we have 12 of these three. Um, so quite a few options there. Uh, let's look. Oh, here we go. So here we've got 7 plus 4 is 11, plus 3 is 14. So we've got 11 again. Um, but now this can't be 9, 2 because of that 2 there. Um, so, and it can't be 7, 4. So therefore this has to be 8 and 3. Um, and this has to be the 3 because of that 8 there. And therefore, this has to be 8, um, like that. So let's just check 10, 25, 10, 25. Um, okay. Now let's have a look down here. We have 8 plus 7 plus uh, 4 is 19. So again, we have 6. So that's to be the 1, 2, 3. 2, 3 is the options here. So we know that these four are going to sum up to 10, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. And therefore we have 15 here, which is 7 and 8, but that's not possible. Um, that way around. You could have 7 and 8 this way around. It's rigid paper. Um, or 6 and 9. So let's just write those options in to remind us. Okay, now let's have a look down in this bottom hexagon. So we have 10, 14. Um, if that was 9, that's 23. So that can't be 9. So this can't be 9, 6. Can't be 9, 6. Let's say it was the 8. So then we'd have 15 plus 7 is 22. This would be 3, which would be 1 and 2. So that would be... 1 and 2. That Again, that can't be 2 because there's a 2 there. If it was a 6, we'd have 20, and therefore these would sum to 5, which would be 1 and 4. Um, can't be 2 and 3. So we can't be 1 and 4 because there's a 4 there. So that can't be a 6. So therefore this has to be an 8. Um, and therefore that's the 1. And that's a two. So you can use a little bit of kind of logic thinking about if this and that, um, and then working out which the answer must be. Quite similar to when you're solving Kakuru, um, in fact. Uh, okay, so let's have a look here now. So this was, we said, eight and um, seven, didn't we? I think. So let's just check. Uh, 12, 13, plus five is 18, plus seven. Okay, so these are summing to um, 11, 12, 13, 14, so that's 11, um, which we know is, okay, 8, 3, 9, 2, 7, 4, so it must be 8, 3, we have an 8 there, so it must be 3 and 8, 
This three is horse symbol two three over here. We have ten, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-five. We have ten, seventeen, eight. Um, and let's just now we can resolve this. So we have um, the one there, so that's two, and that's one. Let's just check. 10, 20, 25, and now over here we have um, 8, 9, uh, 14, 19, uh, 20, 22, so that's a 3. And we filled in all the digits in the number hexagon apart from this one here. So we have 10, 17, 18, and a 7 to go. To get to 25. Um, okay, so that's how you solve a number hexagon puzzle. Bear in mind the four ways of getting 25 of the six triangles that compose each hexagon. Um, and then look for places that are highly constrained. So we started here where there was just one gap here. And then you kind of um, you know, pass your eye over adjacent regions as you add digits and those help you in other regions. Bear in mind overlapping hexagons and digits that are shared between hexagons. Um, that can be really helpful to make progress. Um, and yep, that's pretty much how to solve a number hexagon. Hope you found this video useful and it does inspire you to have a go at solving this puzzle type. Um, if there's any other videos you'd like us to uh, produce, then please do let us know in the comments and uh, feel free to like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy our videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.